Hey everybody, this is Kyle. Here's a clip from a live stream with Matthew, and we're checking out Josephine Alexandra, and she is a fingerstyle guitar player that brings so much energy, and it's always fun to hear her play. For me, as a guitar player, uh, it's always difficult when you are just by yourself with just acoustic guitar, not doing any singing, and trying to get people to dance along. And even as a singer-songwriter, you know, because I perform with just an acoustic and my voice, it's difficult at times to get that energy going. And watching fingerstyle players like Josephine and many other contemporary fingerstyle players that bring a lot of energy to their performance, it, this is always fun for me to watch. So okay, here we go. Good... Here's my fingerstyle guitar cover of an Indonesian folk song called Yemko Rambe Yamko. <laughs> from Indonesia. Enjoy! This is one of the most popular Indonesian folk songs and one of my favorites to play. It has a cheerful melody and I tried to mix the traditional Indonesian vibe with modern music. So I added bass lines and percussion in it. Hope Very you guys cool. like it. I'm excited because I just saw like finger style guitar and I was like, I bet this is gonna be awesome. So I decided to pick it, I guess. <laughs> okay, all right. And so, without further ado, musicians panel reacts to Yomko Rambe Yomko fingerstyle guitar cover by Josephine Alexandra. Here we go! Don't yeah. forget. I've seen her before. I know I, I know I've seen her before. <laughs> it was it was definitely in drop D. 
I, I can tell you that. Yeah. that. It was in an yeah. open but, tuning of some but, type. I think yeah. it was an open G, if I'm not mistaken. It might have been an open D tuning. But either way, it was definitely an open tuning because she was hitting those harmonics and getting a perfect major chord every time. Um, oh, it, I, I, I thought it was an open tuning, straight up. Yeah. I thought I thought it was I mean like the folks the, the folk song was great but she just really really good I I remember seeing her I I don't know what song we listened to but I remember her I re definitely I was like yeah 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 <laughs> oh her energy it was so uh, it was n numb I think the cover of numb really no Maybe no was, no we did what I've done. And we uh, did oh, what Dua Lipa. Whatever, Sam Ban. Dua Lipa, <laughs> yeah. that's the one. That yeah. was the one, Dua Don't Lipa. start now, Dua Lipa. Mm -hmm. That was just <laughs> exceptional energy. Like, it was just so much fun. Like, you could just tell yeah. she was just mm -hmm. exuding fun. And so when I say, oh, she was playing in an open chord tuning, I'm not trying to take anything away from it. I myself yeah. am not so good at open chord tunings. I never really I never really mess with them enough to even be able to like try to like get the the you know, to explain exactly what she was doing and how she was doing it. Um but I do know them enough just to be able to observe some of the cool tricks she was using, right? Like those cool harmonic, bring, perfect chord, and then slam it. I, I yeah. love her freaking forearm bass. It, I don't know how she makes it sound so good. I don't know if that's done in post, probably in DAW or whatever. It's, but the, Those Yamahas have a, a hybrid uh, pickup system. They have like a traditional okay. kind of uh, okay. piezo bridge pickup, and then they have like a microphone in them. So for uh, fingerstyle players, those Yamahas, um, I forget that I think they came out with them like 10 ish years ago, something like that. And she's sponsored by Yamaha. Oh, yeah. So yeah she she's gets a, she's a not just pick. a YouTuber. She's an artist. Yeah. She's, yeah. she's one of the, um, you know, yeah. From Indonesia. I, had, I have a Yamaha, but that's a different kind of a different style, right? I think. Yeah. Well, I have a feeling okay. hers costs at least 10 times. Yeah. I was going to say, I was going to yeah. say. <laughs> when, when those came out, they were like, um, I want to say like 800. That's not bad. No, not yeah, at all. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah. Yeah, mine's a beginner guitar, so. <laughs> but it still plays good. But she yeah. she I, was out, outstanding, I thought. Like, oh, yeah. that song was so fun, too. <laughs> yes. I, I I definitely agree. I was going to say, I, I've had a, a Yamaha 12-string for, for years now. I mean, I think it's like my oldest guitar on my rack. Mm -hmm. at, at the moment um and yeah it's been pretty dependable it's it's a little the bridge is, has a couple cracks in it but it still sounds great yamaha is a yeah. pretty solid company for yeah. musical instruments i mean yeah. pretty much across the board whether you're getting a woodwind or a brass mm -hmm. or a string it doesn't matter like i wouldn't say they're necessarily like the best of the best of the best at any one thing but they're within the top two or three brands across the board yeah for all different yeah. types of instruments. Um, and they're, they're, you know, I've had good luck with some Yamaha. I've also had, I've also had uh, good luck with some other brands too. Sorry. I was going to say, I wish that I didn't know the description um, be, because her, you know, pointing out the melody, you know, of it. And as I was listening, there was a lot of times that the arrangement, and this has nothing to do with her playing. Her playing was solid. You know, she's, you know, always solid and, and, you know, at her level, it'd be dumb to put something out that wasn't, you know, like a high level. Mm -hmm. right. But that arrangement of the song, many times the chords got in the way of the melody. Um, and, and that's something tough to do on guitar is the voice, like a bass, a chord and a melody, you know, have those bit. three parts going. Because I was following it. It's like, yeah, I can follow it. But then there's a lot of times like I got into the chords and the rhythm. It's like, well, where is this infectious melody? You know, if I got that four on the floor kind of house beat, like, okay, yeah, I could dance to this. This is like, you know, almost low level disco or something. But, you know, it's supposed to be about the melody. And then, the, you know, the actual performance was about this other stuff, you know, that, you, you know, I don't know. Well, I, if I didn't have that description, you know, and that's not on you or, or anything like that, you know, um, but that description, I would have included, oh, listen to these rhythmic elements dance along with this awesome melody. Then, it, you know, then those other parts are part of the expectation. I was like, oh, where's the melody highlighted all the time? You know, but okay, that was so, a me thing. So it's, it's good and bad when we read the description. It's not just <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>